Okay, this um, this is to show if we could use the the built-in GPU of the um, of the Alienware Alpha R2. If we go to the control panel in here, Let's see what it says there. It's low. We'll see if this you know <laughs> Alienware Alpha is like really old by now. I bought this during the PlayStation 4 days. I think it's meant to compete with that. Um, so let's check the resolution. So right now we're at 1280 by 720p, but it can do uh, 1080p no problem. But the point of this video is to show if we can activate, hopefully we can, if we can activate custom resolution with 120 hertz using this one. So right now we're at 60 hertz, 8 bit. I wonder if we can also change the color. NVIDIA. As always with HDMI, you can uh, you can always change the the color depth 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 to uh, to tilt them. So, just like what we did before. You know what? I'm gonna try it now if it works. Why don't we try? We go to 1080p right away. And see if we could create custom resolution from that. If we'll have any success. Or if we're gonna succeed from it. Okay, so let's write customize, enable, expose, or enable resolution or expose by the display. Create, accept, so 920 by 1080. If we do right away, for example, signal let me pause all right so uh, 1920 by 1080 at 120 hertz um, yeah it does work ah, it doesn't work so what if we change this you know like I've been meaning to try this what if we just try it? 120 hertz, right? We're gonna do 1280 by 720p here. 1280 by 720p. Let's go. So if we test that, let's see if it works. Right? Go back to what we're doing. Let's compress it here. We'll see if it works. That one. We test. doesn't work we'll wait to, to go back to its um, default because when it fails you know it goes back okay so so we tried doing it from 1080p right so now it, it just changed the values to make it uh, the 1280 by 720p resolution and it's gonna fail that's why I said on my earlier tutorial that we have to start at 720p to, to even have a chance to activate the 120 hertz we're gonna find out more okay so this is like a fresh state a fresh recording to test my theory that we're gonna just start right away with 1080p because that's what the system will put you on default right it's the native always like when i plug this in like it started at what i think it started at 720p but it's because i had it connected to the, connected to the uh, alienware amplifier gpu um yeah so we're gonna try now the the the, 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 the 720p which is 1280, 1280 by 720p. 
Wait a second here. This one here. We're gonna try that. Apply. So now we're at. Where is the, the balance? The white balance are there. So now we're at 720p. Hit yes. Still at 12p. But okay. So now we try making a resolution at 120 hertz. Test, it works, right? Let's see that. We now have the 720p 3D. Yes. So we, we just now created a custom resolution. Okay, so we're gonna go here, activate that, hit apply. And then just to confirm, we're now at 720p 3D. As always, we're gonna try to go to Blur Busters to confirm these changes. So that's the test UFO. It should show, no, I don't want that. I don't like that. So now it should show we're at 120 frames per second at 120 hertz. All right, there's no, there's no trick over here. That's what you're getting. Next one is we're gonna try now to go here and advance display setting. It's showing 120 hertz at 1280 by 720. Great. So what we're gonna do next by the way, we're using HDMI. What we're gonna do next now is since we're actively on the 720p at 120 hertz, we're gonna try and create the 1080p at 120 hertz now. So all we have to do is we're gonna create resolution and then we type in 1980, no, sorry, 1920 by 1080p test see it works so it just works so we hit ok and we go in here hit apply text will become much smaller but we're still so if you hit info we're at 720p 3d to take advantage of the 120 hertz so now the only thing with this one here is I find that the text become blurry. Let's go ahead and apply this. The text are blur blurrier at 1080p. So we, we really need to adjust the, the scaling if possible. Let's try that using the control panel. We're at twenty hertz, which is it's kind of weird. Like in here, yeah, we're now at one hundred twenty-five percent. So you could even increase that to one hundred fifty to to you know to improve the text clarity. But I mean, it's it's good right now. So one hundred twenty hertz active signal resolution is at seven twenty p. Desktop resolution is at ten eighty. So now we go to here refresh and we're still at 120 frames per second and 120 hertz I find that this is more stable than than the uh, what do you call this than the 3090s where it always give you the error down here but with the the Alienware Alpha R2 it's not giving me any problems now let's try the frame skip test Yeah, it's smooth. There's no skipping. It's perfect. Now we'll turn off 3D, switch to 2D, you will see some spaces. Okay, that's info. So now if we hit 3D, 
it should look like more like a it looks better in person there's no skipping yeah so that's confirmed so it works okay that's 1920 by 1080 I can't seem to make it work with with the uh, with the radions with the AMD. So if you plan on using 120 hertz for for this uh, for this plasma TVs, the Panasonic UT50 50 series or the 30 series, just go for Nvidia. It's much you know it's it's less of a headache compared to when you try uh, what you call this when you use AMD. It works, but the user interface is kind of like it's too busy is how I describe it I believe you can also just go in here too if you want to switch to 1280 by 720 if you do that and then you can just go to advanced display right now it's at 60 Hertz but you could go to display adapter properties monitor and you could just choose 120 Hertz from here and then hit apply so instead of um, going to but this would look like yeah instead of going to nvidia control panel which can be which can be always there's a lot of stuff it will do the same thing i don't know what it says here yeah well yeah so i did it in the with the advanced settings